I have actually finished this book almost two weeks ago. I didn't film a review last week because I was fucking lazy. And there's no other excuse, so I'm sorry. I might be a bit all over the place. Hello for bookworms, it's Katie. So, today it's Friday, book review time. Let's talk about Wildwood Dancing by Juliette Morellier. This was the first book of Juliette Morellier's that I've read. I've loved it completely. I am... Did I actually order this, the companion novel to this or didn't I? I think I did. Let's move on. Um, <laughs> Wildwood Dancing. This book is um, set in Transylvania. It's about five sisters who at every full moon cross over through a portal into the other kingdom where they are going to dance amongst the fairies and it's all very lovely. So now um, the uh, the father of the, the children or the, the sisters is ill and he has to go away over the winter because winter in Transylvania is very very harsh and very cold. So he goes away, the responsibility for his property falls onto the second oldest daughter, who is called Jenna, who is the main protagonist of this book. And um, it's her story, struggling with this responsibility, struggling with her sisters, and struggling to keep her home, her home, and keep her secret, keep their secret protected from their nosy cousin and um, there's a lot of sh stuff happening, so, <laughs> um, excuse me while I wreck my brain, but I can tell you that it's not spoilery. And, um, also, you know, there's a lot of fear going on if their father, if, if he's coming back, if he's going to die, he, and her older sister falls in love with a fairy or someone from the other kingdom, and Jenna has to witness her gradually waste away basically <laughs> over this love and yeah as i said there's a lot of stuff going on but it's very magical very very beautiful and i loved it a lot as you could probably make out from my attempt to describe the plot of this book there's a lot happening and there are a lot of twists and turns and i did not see them coming which is a good thing it's what i want want in my books um uh the characters um are awesome. I love Jenna. She is the sensible sister, you know, so she has to struggle with what that means, that, that that actually is her personality, but also that other people think it's her personality and the amount of responsibility that other people give her because of that. She struggles with that a lot and um, <laughs> that was hit very close to home with me because I'm, you know, I'm the sensible one. There's a lot of responsibility resting on my shoulders as well. It's not exactly what I want in my life or where I want to be in my life, but hey, here I am, making the best of it. So is Jenna. So, there you go. I, I could see her, you know, her struggle and taking all that responsibility for the house and her sisters and how that really overwhelms her in a way. Um, that was very beautifully done. Um, also, all, all of the other sisters, although they are just supporting characters, they are very well thought through. So, so thought through and they have their char characteristics and are authentic throughout the book. They have all have their strengths and weaknesses and but there also were surprises where we, you know we, we apparently see or we of course see the book out of Jenna's eyes and she was surprised by especially her younger sisters and how you know they grew up. That was beautiful. <laughs> and also this book has a magnificent villain. Cesar is a wonderful villain and I hate him with all my heart. This motherfucker has to burn in hell. It's He's such a good villain. Honestly, I was reading this on the train and on the tram and as I mentioned uh, numerous times before in Germany, you don't talk to other people. You are silent. You keep your fucking mouth shut in public, you know, but I while I was reading this book, I was I was getting so angry at Cesar because of the shitty, sexist stuff he says that I I really I wanted to scream. I want to throw the book across the room in rage of this character. 
honestly, <laughs> if you uh, have any, if you are, especially if you are um, identifying yourself as a feminist and you read this book, you, you will have some hate for a character, I promise. He's a little bit like Gaston, that's all I'm going to say. Um, now to the world. The mythology of the world is pretty simple with like the, the fairies and you know the humans and fairies are bad or the people that people you view the fairies as dangerous and um, so that's pretty simple but it also that's a mythology that is going on in many cultures of the world so that's okay um I, but it was enjoyable and cute and I love the Transylvania setting um I discovered that <laughs> a lot of the Transylvanian names are pronounced very similar to German and there's a pronunciation guide in the back of the book and you're probably going to need that if you are English or American um, or you know some some other per, uh, culture or um, um, language um, but you know that's that's a good thing in, in, in German we, we are in the middle of Europe so we have a little bit of every surrounding language. We were a mix. We were all the European languages put in a blender and then there's German for you. <laughs> um, also what I loved in the book, this book has grey areas. Not everything is black and white, not every good character. Like good characters have, you know, some do some shitty things, shitty characters, do some good things. I gave this book four stars. I really enjoyed it. There's one little bit that <laughs> happened but I can't tell you, um, it happens in the end. Uh, and that just made me go... Mm. So, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what it is. Uh, because it's a spoiler. So, we're not doing two spoilers here. So, I hope you um, enjoyed this review, I hope you found it interesting and helpful. Tell me, did you read this book? And if so, what do you think about it? And do you know any other magical books about fairies? <laughs> Not going to read Akatar, don't even try. Um, so I hope you're having an awesome day, I hope you're reading something magical. And I will see you soon. Bye!